So a quick update, uh, I'm pretty much done with the frame for the horizontal stabilizer. Everything's been riveted. rivets are in and obviously these rivets uh, only go on once the skin goes on. I have test fitted the skins and they go on quite well. I don't more all the holes seem to line up. There might be a little bit of match drilling to be done um, but it didn't look that bad at all so unfortunately my LA inspector will have to inspect these before I put the skins on. So that's as much as I can do on the horizontal stabilizer. So I'll have to park this and start working on the elevator. Also made myself a little block with a gauge. So I've got the two 3.3 mil drill bits, two 4.1 mil drill bits and the 4.9. So I need to ream these holes to make sure this goes in. So I've just labeled them. So the copper ones, the 3.2 mil rivets, so I need to ream those holes for the 3.3 black one, black clip goes that goes in are the 4 mil rivets so that will be a 4.1 and this is the silver one, the 2.4 and the bronze one, the big one, the 4.9 ok, so I've gone ahead and big dimpled all these so you can see the flush rivet fits in quite nicely. Uh, the thicker material you have to clean with a 3.3 millimeter drill bit um, to get the rivets in. Uh, the smaller bits, uh, smaller ones, you don't need that. As for the skin, again all the dimples have been done. Um, it's a tight fit, but it, uh, it would go in. See, That's how it will sit, the flush rivets. Uh, one of them I've had a bit of a, a mess I've created, but it doesn't. It wouldn't look that bad, I think. Um, once I'll fill that, um, the, once I'm filling the rivet heads, I'll fill that a little bit more, and when it's painted, it should be okay. Anyway, it's not one of the one with the ribs, so not that bothered. Because the the smaller parts, uh, it's you can't do that on the DRD to dimpler or the big dimpler. Um, so I'm having to kind of use, use the dimple dies. Put them in. And, the, and this is the one that has been ground off. And just squeeze them together using a small vise. created the dimple and got a nice one. So, um, finally managed to get my rivet gun working. Uh, it was missing this piece. So that's now going. It is it's such a joy to work with this thing finally. Don't need to use the hand rivet anymore. Unfortunately I'm still missing the right attachment for the uh, four mil rivet. This attachment nose piece is for a 4.8 millimeter rivet. So I've saw this technique online where people are doing. So people just use a simple piece of metal with a hole that matches the 4 mil rivet and hold that in front of it. Which seems to be working quite well. So let's have a go. I'll try and put this thing on here. have to hold this piece down on top of that switch on the gun it's that's it all done so 
I'll basically clear coat together the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, everything is just held up using clear coats. Apart from this main structure that I'll put in a few rivets. Uh, but I haven't closed everything. Major. Trying on the skin, I kind of realized I did forget to dimple these four, 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 five holes. So, time to take this off and then get those dimpled. The fit seems alright, and most of these are quite well lined up. Uh, the other side is fully, clear, I mean, mostly clear code. I left. Uh, Probably uh, every three holes physically go on three or four holes. So sitting pretty straight. Working on the elevator. Yeah, this counterweight assembly. I have pretty much finished that. Everything's been riveted. It's quite a lot of rivets. Uh, maybe this this is a mistake in the manual. It says to do 14 rivets, but it's actually 16. I saw it on another blog, another builder's blog. So I've gone ahead and done riveted that hole as well. Um, yeah, now it's time to mount this. This <laughs> this bit can be a bit tricky uh, with this piece. Have to be clear coded in, but not riveted before you mount uh, this thing from the back. So I'm at that stage. And it's basically putting these bolts through. Yeah, so hopefully I can finish this up, uh, at least that main bit, and try on the skins. Yeah, the elevator assembly is coming along quite nicely. Uh, the center counterweight thing. This was quite challenging, getting this rib one in line with this brace on both sides um, but yeah a little bit of force to <laughs> push that in I managed to get the rivets in nice and flush and uh, the 4am 3 bolts and the 2 on these sides they've all been tightened now uh, all these holes line up quite well so don't have any other issues Yeah, I think it's a few more steps and then Working on the empanage kit, uh, I'm on the elevator now. Uh, yeah, it's coming along quite well. Uh, just need to add the counterweight here and test fit the skins. Uh, so all riveted now. The trim tab, uh, the trim tab servo, I think, sits on that 